Hey everyone, MultiDarkZen here with a tutorial on how to install XV2 Patcher, XV2 Installer, and Flex SDK 4.6. Now you will need these files in order to install Mods for Xenoverse 2 without your game crashing on you or mods not just working in general. So what you want to do is press start, go to File Explorer, this PC, Windows C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, DB Xenoverse 2. Now, what you want to do is you will need a, a zip file manager or something like 7zip, which is what I prefer. You can use WinWar and stuff like that. So, what you want to do is drag and drop all this into here, replace the files in this destination. The only reason why this says this for me is because I already have the files in this folder, so I will just replace them in there. Now what you want to do is take XV2 Installer, drag and drop all of this into the same folder you just dragged, the other, the patcher. Now what you want to do, now replace the files in destination because I already have them in there. Now what you want to do, to install Flex SDK, you go to this PC, Windows C, Program Files. Now you want to create a folder called Flex underscore SDK underscore 4.6. And you will want to drag and drop all the contents of the SDK zip file into this folder that you have just created. So this way your mods will be able to work. Now as that's doing that, I will now show you how to install mods with the XP2M installer. I will you want to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, DBZ Universe 2. Now what you want to do with the XP2 installer, you want to right click. Go to send to desktop, create shortcut. So this way you will have a shortcut to this folder. And you will also want to create mod, a mods folder for all your mods. So now that you have that done, you click on the XV2 installer. Now to install XV2M files, you want to click on this folder with the little green plus or health icon. So you click install, you click whatever mod you have, install to new slot. So, and you wait for the command prop to finish, and that will install the mod for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If this tutorial has helped you in any way possible, please leave a like down below. And please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and Dragon Ball Z Universe mods in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.